Central Asia or the Stans. It's sometimes an amazing uh, view and vantage point that you look out. You can even see dust storms and it's incredible. It just takes your breath away. Here's Cuba, Florida, and the Bahamas, probably one of the top two places that gets photographed. Patagonia is another place, a lot of them entering also. A real life moon set from our vantage point. This is Japan at night, and I don't know if you can see or not, but I left this clip in so that you can see how many dead pixels there were from the camera. And the dead pixels are from a camera that's been up on orbit for a while and had been hit with radiation. This is Washington, Baltimore, and Manhattan. Odessa. Breathtaking when you, when you see this. The Aurora. And when I took this picture, the Aurora was actually going, waving beneath us. A sunset with extremely vivid colors. Never boring. 18 sunrises and sunsets a day and you don't get tired of seeing them. <laughs> I left this clip in here because what you're about to see is Tracy come around the corner, do a hop, skip, and a jump, and go into her sleep station. You have some idea how big it is or how small it is. She's going to leave her hand on the handle, and now she is completely inside her bedroom. It's like a telephone booth, for instance. Wave it, sweetie. All right, it comes to be our time to return, and so we're going to take a tour from the U.S. laboratory back towards where our Soyuz is docked. So we're going to go through node one and you get to see all the open stowage because we don't have a whole lot of stowage room. Logistics becomes the real key game in town to make everything efficient. This is where we keep all of our extra uh, clothing and, and articles that we use every day. And as we head back into the Russian segment, Russian half of the station, you can see more open stowage. These are all food containers here. <coughs> now we get into what's called the service module, really the command post for space station. And Oleg's getting ready for our departure. And Sasha and Misha are back in the bedroom area right here. And we're going to keep going back to the back, and our Soyuz is docked in the very end. We get inside the Soyuz and we say goodbye to folks. And from the time that we undock, four hours later, the search and rescue folks that find us will open up our hatch. Speaking of which, for this landing, it was the first time that the search and rescue forces were at the landing site and were able to set up a video to capture this. We knew we were down. <laughs> Those were the soft landing thrusters that fired. Also a first time event. Is this still photograph? Bill Ingalls takes this picture. It's a moment. It's a fraction of a second before landing. He gets this just to capture the soft landing thrusters. This term, soft landing thrusters, it's a misnomer. <laughs> and so now the Russian uh, search and rescue forces are able to pull us out. And our gyros, our inner ear, are really, really, really unstable, and we are very dizzy at the moment, but we kind of expected it, but it's so good to have the hatch open up, and you get to smell the fresh air of the, of the steps. A Russian poster that they superimposed our faces in, which was kind of nice. And then this portion of the video will run for a while, so I just want to let you know that this is not computer animation. This is actually a fly around by the space shuttle as it takes photography, video photography of the space station. Each time that the shuttle departs space station, assuming that they have the fuel to do so, they will do a fly around so that we can see the wonder which we call home, but also backdropped against the borderless earth that we were able to witness for the six months we were up there. So I hope that gives you some idea about us being the experiment on, on orbit. And if you go to YouTube, for instance, you can see a shorter version of this, where the theme really is, together is the future. As I introduced this talk earlier, 
What is inspirational about this conference is we're talking about the benefits for tomorrow, benefits for the generations to come, and together I think we can do that in the future. Thank you much.